Okay, Akumaldo Crypto here with another, not with another, but with a new uh, video about trading techniques. Okay, today I am bringing to you guys the Cryptology. Okay, it's a really nice group that I am part of it now. Uh, sorry about the noise. So, the they asked me to be part of their group and now I'm part of their group and I am a leading analyst there and so if you want to join them you have this is, is this is the website you can follow them on social media on Twitter you're gonna have the discord group link in my description as well and uh, I'm gonna be there to answer your questions if you want to ask me questions look for me there this is gonna be fun right so let's talk about uh, Bitcoin <laughs> we're waiting it right what's going on some trading techniques what I do okay pretty simple case that we have here this was EOS yesterday I trade this thing here so simple thing that we can do here if we have the our this is our trading view. We click here at this magnet and we start to draw in some lines. Okay. Let me remove all those lines and let's forget about the indicator for a little bit. Okay, let's imagine that we don't have this information, this this data here. We don't have this amount of data here. Let's imagine that we let's draw this this red thing here okay so uh, we have only this piece of information here on the right so I'm gonna start drawing some lines okay why because I'm gonna start to, to establish the geometry of this of this of this coin at, at this particular time frame in this case we have this line here okay can stand a a little bit we don't have this piece of information here okay and we have this okay here we have it and what else we can draw this line here okay which is gonna be our like uh, short-term line okay for the short term connecting all the supports let's imagine that uh, this was the the line going up and then I connected all the the bottoms here okay you 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 can see my reasoning right so when we were here and when we saw this thing here happening this huge week going up okay well, what I can tell you guys is that okay we don't know this information here this red box here we don't know yet but what we can assume okay we broke this line here okay we broke this line here are we gonna are we gonna continue going up or not okay we broke we have this line here right at the bottom we have this line here and we have this line here that has been broken okay at, at that moment so you are here and then a lot of people just go and buy here okay and then you are a buyer here okay you are a buyer here what's gonna happen guys it's if you are a buyer here you don't you just lo you just lost the opportunity here of you never buy after breaking a, a in this case a resistance you never buy you never do this this is FOMO Okay, feeling of losing the move, uh, the the moment. Don't FOMO in and buy right here. Oh, but you don't know where it's it's gonna land. Okay, imagine that this is happening now. You don't know what's what's happening. Yes, but you don't enter after a breakout here because you imagine that the the buyers or the sellers they are losing steam. Okay, so then you're gonna wait, wait and start seeing what's happening next you lost this moment you lost you need to first first thing ignore this thing you ignore it okay second 
you start to see where you're gonna uh, you start you wait for the retracement and then you start seeing where you find the wicks the resistance here you see where you see this formation of wicks is exactly at where we have drawn previously this yellow line of uh, it was a previous resistance now it's a support this happens all the time so this is i'm gonna this one i'm gonna mark uh, a different color let that mark it re uh, green okay this is a green line here so then we start if you want just to allow this thing here to be a little bit yes this is the right line okay then you start seeing that this acts as a support as a support so then what i would do we don't have this this red information what i would do is i would i would um rather i would either be a buyer or a seller here right i would this is this would be my remember we don't know this thing right we don't know this thing we don't know what's going to happen so i would target right here this would be i would buy here okay at this at this support here and i would have my stop loss right below it okay or i would short okay i would short i would do the opposite i would wait for the breakout here i would have my stop loss here at the top of this week here and i would uh put a stop uh uh, my short here is starting at the break at the breakout and when this this red when we had this breakout I would start shorting not before it before it I would have a stop loss okay then I would target down here right 80% this would be a nice 342 risk reward ratio okay this is one of the of many examples many examples Okay, this happened yesterday. I played exactly like this. I should have recorded. I wasn't really paying attention. But now, see now the opportunity. Now we have what? It's, we, it has crossed this yellow line here. And now we are now down below it. This red line, this yellow line here, pardon me, is acting as a resistance. We are trying to break it and we see wicks. So what you can do now? You can do exactly the same thing. But the opposite, okay, can come here, long position. I do not recommend now because it's weird what's going on. I would not enter along now, okay, but because I, I have my Elliott Wave count for this and I think we have another leg down, but you would do something like this, okay? But this is not, uh, 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 this is an unknown, a no trade zone because you are trying to break this resistance here and I think that you are going down one more leg okay this is another piece of information damn this this sorry guys <laughs> this noise again and uh, so here we have my only one uh, my oh damn <laughs> sorry my only one um, must my I all in one indicator and you have plenty of options to use okay you can turn on and off okay this is another thing that I use when I am trying to when I am trying to uh, to, to trade when I am trading actually so here we have the 55 EMA the 100 the 55 EMA is acting as a support and the 100 EMA here is acting as a resistance. Okay, so we have failed to break it. So, what would you do? Honestly, now it's time for shorting, in my opinion, right? We have this, this is the top of our bulletin band. If you look at this, if you look at it, this is the upper band. I'm sorry, the up, the, the, uh, oh, it's the opposite actually, yeah. This is the upper band. You see the upper band? We broke it. This is another technique, guys. When you have the upper band of your bullish band of your Dokken channel in a bear market and it breaks the channel and it fails to break 
an EMA like this, we, I would enter here a short, okay? Why? Because it's simple. We have broke the channel here, and I would like put my stop loss again at the same level. I would enter now because we, we just broke. It's a nice opportunity now. We just broke the channel here, and I would target the bottom channel. Here we have six, seven percent of profit. If we don't, if we fail, okay, it's a stop loss. It's a four, uh, a risk risk of risk of reward of four. It's not that much, but it's a nice risk of reward, don't you think? Upon breaking this, you, you see that this purple line here. I'm. This is the the upper band. I, I'm sorry, guys. I think I need to change it in my my code i <laughs> it's the opposite here okay this is the upper band so, okay in purple this upper band we broke it and now and now we are retracing okay this is my setup let's see at the at a lower level like at the lower time frame yeah at, the, at lower time frames we have more information indeed we have touched it the upper band and we are now retracing we have a lot of resistance here, you see? A lot of 21, the 21 resistance here. Let me, 21, the 100. Let, let's see the, this is the, the, the 13 and this is the eighth. Yes, it's really difficult. It's This is 13 minutes, okay? We have a lot of support now, but I think that we are going down. Okay. Um, when we are in a downtrend, I always use this kind of. Uh, when I use a lot the bullish band of the Dokken channel. Why? Because upon touching it, upon th upon touching the the upper band, it it goes down. And it touches and it goes down. I don't use the bottom band when I see that the trend is down. Okay, I just use the upper band and then I do like this. I mark it with a strong color. And every time it pierces street, it pierces street. Hmm. You see here. You see here. So I think that the same thing is gonna happen here. You see the pattern here. I see the same pattern happening now here. Okay, so this is a nice setup, isn't it? We have something like this. You can just target a little bit above the the the, the band here if you don't want to. If you are certain, your stop loss is going to be like... Let me turn this off. If you think that your stop loss is going to be too tight and you don't want to use a tighter stop loss, and I don't know what's going on. Oh, sorry. And you don't want to have a tight stop loss, you can do something like this. A bit higher, starting right now at the at the breakout. And a bit higher than the, the price that we have now. Okay. Targeting the same length that we have here. Okay. It's easy, right? I think it, this is what's that this is what is about to happen. I'm gonna talk to you guys later if this is what happened or not. Okay, but this is uh, so. Le let's wrap up all that we have covered. Lines, okay. Basic of lines. Then uh, assuming the uh, remember always that a line that has been crossed is gonna become a resistance. Okay. I'm sorry, it's going to become a support. The uh, uh, previous resistance is now a support. Then you can you can wait for it to act as a support, but then it proves not to be a support, uh, a strong support like this line here and this one. And it is actually acting, everything is acting as a resistance now. Okay, and this line here, this line here, this line here. Okay, this line here, actually we broke it here, right? We broke it here. We are now above it. So you see, and this was and this was drawn at one hour chart. So remember that when we 
when we zoom in, when we use uh, the uh, at lower time frames, the, the we need to redraw it and rearrange it. Okay. So we are now in this box here. Okay. You can expect it to not break this this yellow line here, this this resistance. Okay, and then touch the support until one of those sides here, one of those, either this, either the support or this, either this resistance. I'm sorry, or this support is gonna, is gonna give in, and then we're gonna have a, a nice opportunity of profit. If you enter a short, like I said, and you, you, you get stopped, it's okay. Stop losses are there for it. Okay. Um, so guys, uh, this is a, this was a really more of a introduction video for me. Uh, I'm introducing myself to you guys at Cryptology, and uh, this is my channel. This is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna provide you guys all sorts of information. This should be I I should have uh, done a stream, yeah, a live stream. Do. Yeah, trading live trading would be better. Yeah, some real examples. I'm planning to do so next time. Okay, for the moment I'm just showing really basic techniques, and uh, I think that with just with what I have said in this video, it's enough for us to make some nice to have some nice profit. Okay, so uh, if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe not subscribe but uh enter be part of cryptology and follow me on social media and follow them as well you have their twitter here in the description okay so thank you very much and i see you guys next time bye cheers